Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Thank you for tuning in. Well, I just got done with Cars and Coffee Toys for Tots. And it was a crazy turnout. Uh, so many cars, so many people. Just absolutely uh, a great event. Uh, dropped off some toys and I can tell you, so many people brought toys, so. At any rate, while I'm driving back home, I thought this would be a great opportunity to talk about all the Tesla news that has popped up this week. And there is a lot of it. So let's get to it. If you guys are interested in seeing the Toys for Tots, uh, all the cars, or some of the cars that were out there, and there were some beautiful cars, that is at the end of this video. Take a look at that. Again, I was surprised at uh, the turnout and how many how many cars there were. Again, so much uh, Tesla news. First thing is, is apparently, there's going to be possibly a version 11 release that is uh, due this holiday season. So that's going to be crazy because I can't wait to see what we get with the new release and all the updates and new features that we might get. So that is pretty crazy. I would love it if full self-driving beta popped up on that, but fingers crossed, but I doubt it. But at any rate, I'm sure it'll uh, have a lot of great features uh, for us to get used to and start playing with. The other big news is actually in the Model Y. From what I understand, there have been updates. So those of you who are expecting a Model Y relatively soon, or within the, you know, if you're ordering one now, you are going to get some features that us current owners do not have so uh, for those of us who do have it I, I hope you guys aren't jealous but they are some uh, what seems to be some pretty decent features so let's get started on that the first feature is that it will have double pane or yeah double pane glass so that's going to keep the uh, road noise down, especially during, I'm sure, highway speeds. So when you're cruising along, it's going to seem a lot quieter in the cabin, I'm sure. And if that's the case, uh, I think that's going to give the Model Y a much more premium feel. You know, it's one of those things that you don't really notice until, uh, again, you're driving along. And you, uh, you get that quiet interior you know that people are just impressed by and i think that's uh gonna give it definitely a much more uh, upscale feel so the second feature is going to be the usb i guess uh, for the sentry mode will now be in the glove box and not only will the the actual uh port be in the glove box but from what I understand, everybody's saying that the storage, the USB uh, storage for Century Mode will actually be in there as well, that it comes with the car now so that the people don't have to buy their own uh, hard drive for it. So that's pretty interesting and that's actually a big benefit, you know. So we'll see if that's uh, accurate or not. If those of you who already have it, if if you uh, if you got the USB storage, let us know. Another feature that they say is uh, in the Model Y now is the auto dimming for the mirrors. Now I'm not big on that one, but I'm sure for a lot of people it's really important, and it's just another great feature to have. So again, all of these little tweaks and new features added on, I think, are going to give the Model Y, you know, an increased premium feel. And then the last one that I've heard that is coming to the Model Y that I guess the Model 3 already has is metal scroll wheels. I guess they're going to be silver in color and they're going to replace these uh, kind of rubber, rubberized feeling ones. So to me, that's not really a big deal, but again, 
I'm sure for the senses and touching them all the time that maybe there's more of a premium feel there too. So, But all in all, those new features are something that uh, us current owners will not have. So lucky, uh, lucky new Model Y owners. You know, fantastic. I always tell people the best Tesla is the next Tesla. So I hate to say that, but it's kind of true. Is that they're always improving, they're always adding updates and tweaks and here and there. And so the next one is always the best one. Now, there is one feature that I'd be kind of jealous of if it actually happens, and it's just a rumor at this point is the 82 kilowatt battery. Uh, that's gonna probably give more range, and it's also going to probably be able to have the potential to be a little quicker, possibly. And that's something that I would definitely like, but again, that's just a rumor. Right now, we're, I'm, I believe, we're on the 75 kilowatt battery, and if it jumps to the 82, again, added range, possibly added power, Oh, that'd be nice to have. I mean, both. Again, not that we need to be faster, but it's always fun to be faster. I wouldn't say no to it. Tesla, if uh, you wanna make the Model Y faster or you wanna put an option or software update, I'm down for that.